Hey guys, so I haven't shown you guys our store in a long time, so we're going to go down there in a second, but first I want to show you guys my hair. So today I did a very high ponytail, and I don't know if you guys could note, can notice this, but there's actually a braid going around my ponytail, so yes, very proud of this, even though it took me like two minutes. That's cool. That's our little store. As you can see, we need more supplies. Okay, so that's what we were selling downstairs. So I came back up to let Frosty out. Frosty, Frosty, look at the camera. He's like sniffing nothing. Yes, I am doing this video on the floor. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but oh well. Anywho, um, thank you guys so much for checking out my mom reacts to the book video. She was showing off this morning. Like she told all her friends, we crossed the street and told the people, well, she told the people. And also about the store. I know I have some new subscribers, so you guys might not know, but my mom sometimes sells clothes and like other things. Uh, just to make some cash. My my dad works, but my mom and us three, we don't, so, uh, and it's very hard to get a job in this economy, so uh, we have to sell some things. Well, my mom does, uh, while my dad is over there making some money. So we just finished at the store, and usually we stop at around 12 or 1, around lunchtime, and I carried this back up. It's not really that heavy. While I'm waiting for my lunch, to be served, I will show you guys my outfit. Wow! I think it's a little short to be wearing leggings. I don't know. But anywho, this is it. I got it for Christmas. By the way, I'm having eggs for lunch. We bought some new things and I'm not sure if Frosty likes it. Sniff, Frosty, sniff. What do you smell? Dolls? Cause that's what we got! A whole box and bag of them! So we just came back from the market. Um, I was looking for a Rapunzel doll, but they're all $10. So I found one that was way cheaper. I don't know how much it was. I'm guessing it was under $1. I found this Rapunzel doll. I know her hair looks a little wacky, but I've seen on Pinterest how to fix doll hair. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix her up. And I just thought she's so pretty! Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess, so I've been looking for a Rapunzel doll. Anyways, yes, my table is a mess. Don't judge me! But anyways, we bought a box and bag of dolls because we're going to fix them up and resell them. Uh, maybe put some bow ties on them and we're going to clean them. And so, yeah, we're hoping these will sell well. If not, then we're screwed. We got that whole box for $4 and there's like over 20 bears in there so very good deal if these don't sell well then um, it was worth the risk at least we lost four dollars at least so here's a better view of Rapunzel yeah her hair is like this is like homeless Rapunzel here you like Rapunzel too huh yeah he's my favorite too I said he she's my favorite too Frosty what are you doing to my doll Oh, you want you want me to pet you? Oh, you're so cute. Look, guys, her arms can bend like really far back. Not only is she homeless, but she's also possessed. <laughs> One last look at Rapunzel. Uh, I said her name weird, but whatever. I'm going to try and fix her hair right now. I don't know how, but I saw lots of different methods on Pinterest, and I'm just going to go with uh what i have on hands right now because some some of them required like lots of supplies and i'm going for a more easier one what i did is put some dish soap in her hair and rubbed it in and now i put it i'm putting her hair in hot water i think i need to add more so that's what i'll do if there's any guys watching i am so sorry if you don't want to watch this but anyways uh, i just want to show you guys what i did with her hair obviously i need to work on this side but this side, it's frizzy, but the little dreads are like, thanks mom, <laughs> the dreads are gone. Her hair is like so difficult to work with. I guess you can say that her hair is really tangled. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 
This is why I don't have a lot of subscribers. This is all that came off of Rapunzel, and this is her now. Obviously, it's frizzy, so I have to clean her hair one more time, but I'm just taking a little break now. This is like one hour worth of work. I spent a lot of time on this doll, and yes, uh, this is what it feels like to be homeschooled. So much time on my hands, so why not? I had nothing else to do. Right, Jamie? This is exactly how it feels like to be homeschooled. You find something new and you're like, well, I have time for that, and you just do it. Something else other than dolls and Rapunzel. My mom introduced me to this friend that she has, and her friend said, like, she asked me something like, oh, you're from the other side, aren't you? Other side, USA. Um, and I'm like, yeah, and she's just like, oh yeah, it shows. And I'm like, no, but see, I, out of the four years we've been living here in Tijuana, um, I've gotten so many people say that, and then I stop and think, what do they mean by I give off the American vibe? I don't know what that means. I'm brown like everyone else, so I don't know what else they mean. Maybe it's my teeth. My teeth show that I'm British. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously, what is it about me that gives off the American vibe? Almost like, not everybody, but obviously some people are like, oh, you're from America. And I'm like, yeah, how did you know? Without me talking. Like, they don't hear my accent. Um, they just come up to me and they're like, oh, you're from America! And I'm like, yeah! I don't know what they mean by that, but I don't know. America! Representing my country. With this hairball, I could probably make another Rapunzel. Frosty, I'm trying to take a picture. Come on, you gotta move. I swear to God, if he starts humping one of these dolls, I will not put down the camera.